Hello everybody, Hello. welcome back to our channel. I'm Rihanna. I'm Gabe. And we're Sacred Twin Flame Union. We're students from Jeff and Shalia Divine of Twin Flames Universe. And we have a fantastic video. I've been so excited to do this one with you. Um, we got together and channeled some questions from the Divine Feminine Collective to ask the Divine Masculine. Hello. Yay! So we're gonna do a little interview for the Divine Feminines of the world your burning questions on your heart. What is he thinking? What does he want you to know right now? Um, so as always, um, the questions are generally pretty timeless and the answers are also really timeless. So take what resonates for you in this video. And if you're familiar at all with our services, we are Sacred Twin Flame Unions. So you can find us at sacredtwinflameunion.com. You're just like making a face there, that's why I looked up. <laughs> I was thinking. Yeah. Was thinking. Yeah. So the divine masculine, you know. Um, <laughs> so we have eight questions, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, really looking forward to like hearing your answers for these because okay. these are definitely some things that I wanted to know while I was preparing for union, preparing for harmonious okay. union, and um, yeah, like just answer what's on your heart. Okay. Like, no pressure. Okay. But okay. All the pressure. But all the pressure. No. Um, okay. So first question for from the Divine Feminine Collective to the Divine Masculine is, how did you feel while you were in separation from your Divine Feminine? Um. Well, it didn't feel good. Yeah. You know, it's like, <laughs> I thought you were gonna be like, good, fine. It was good. Because <laughs> uh, yeah, like on some like, level, the Divine Masculine can be like that, where he's like completely nonchalant right. and doesn't and care. I think like I was- Sorry, I'll stop talking I was um, a situation where like I was on the journey too. Like I right. did like at the, like when first coming into the journey, like I didn't know that you were my twin flame. Like I was doing the thing by myself or like what I thought was by myself. And when you say um, the thing, you mean? Like Jeff and Shalee is where I was like doing the mirror exercise. I was going through my own like thing, you know? So you're going through your own spiritual transformation. Right. And it was very personal for you. Right. And for me, like, I was doing Jeff and Shalia's work. I think there are some masculines out there who don't have any, like, concept of, like, the mirror exercise or anything like that while their divine feminine maybe is doing the inner work. Mm -hmm. um, what about before Jeff and Shalia's work? Like, as you were kind of coming into it? Because I know I had years and years of, like, looking at psychic YouTube videos, years and years of, like, mm. trying to find, like spirituality information about the twin flame journey yeah without even really realizing that that was what i was searching for like what was that experience for you for like? me like i was i was an atheist um as far as like as far as like noted like spiritual like practice but i was always kind of like looking for like god spirituality and things like mm -hmm. i noticed that about myself is like i wasn't um i just um Oh, I don't believe in God. It was like I was in a very like fundamentalist, like Christian, like family. Mm -hmm. And then as I started to break away from the church, I was like, like studying other like um, I was like, pay. I was like, oh, I'm gonna study like paganism and mm -hmm. all these other things. And uh, I briefly studied like a Japanese religion while I was over there. I was like, oh, what is this about? So you're just like we're exploring. I was like, I was dabbling, but I was like, I never, but I wasn't like convinced yet you know like of god and i didn't really have a concept of twin flames i just wanted to like yeah. find my person which i think is very common for most people um just like wanting to find their like person that's that the desire yeah. but you they weren't can... like uh lusting after your divine feminine you were just like exploring all these different avenues of spirituality well yeah i was like looking for spirituality and like of course i was like of course like i said i was like looking for my person but like i didn't have like the conscious concept of yeah, a twin flame. Like the self-awareness, I guess. Right. And, and I was looking for my person in the way I feel like everybody looks for their person. Right. Like yeah. very normal. Yeah. It wasn't like, you know, Gotta find until you. like, until I met like my false twin flame, like that awakened me to the actual like twin flame, like journey. Yeah. I wasn't aware of that depth of spirituality. Mm. Makes mm -hmm. sense. Okay, so. cool. So the second question from the Divine Feminine Collective is, can you feel what the Divine Feminine is feeling? Sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Like, um, this is good. I feel Tell like the it's... people. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, I feel like it's not... Um, I see some people, uh, especially like in the forum, 
especially divine feminines. The Twin Flames like, universe open forum. Yes. Um, who, Which you can join below and link in their description. Yes. Um, I see people who are like, I can just feel all of their feelings, all of their emotions. I don't experience that. Um, what I experience is like sometimes I'll have an awareness of like what you're moving through. Mm -hmm. Like I, I'll just kind of um, be like, like your peripheral mind or something. Yeah, I'll be like, like you're I'll, like kind of feeling like oh my you just get that notion of like she's going through this right, right like i'll have a feeling i'm like oh she's like upset or something like that but it's not like <laughs> it's not like i'll be like breaking dishes in the kitchen you're like oh she's upset well yeah <laughs> like, that's that's obvious <laughs> yeah, but, like, just kidding. but like there's like a, before you live with me right and even that like that brief period where we were like talking well mm -hmm. that but when we were like separated like for like oh, the last a couple, couple months, months. Yeah, yeah. yeah yeah um I'll stop talking, sorry. Like, I'll let you do this. I wasn't fully aware of, like, I know, I just know that she's feeling this right now. Like, there was a lot of times where I was like, I'm not sure where she's at. Mm -hmm. And it, all I could do was tap into what I felt and just, like, move through that. Because I think, um, you know, there's a lot of, like, oh, I can just feel everything they're feeling. All of this isn't mine. And I don't have that. Like, I feel like when I feel something, it is mine because like we are like one, mm -hmm. but like I have my own pieces of it, right? You have your own experience of reality. I have my own experience of reality and you know, maybe other DMs are different, but like, um, like you're still gonna have your own experience of reality. And if you feel it, it's within you to heal. It's not mm -hmm. just like, I feel it and it's theirs. Like, um, what is he going to do? I, ho I hope he heals it. Or right, right. Like you're not a victim and you're not beholden to your twin flame healing or upsets right. or not. Mm -hmm. You have full, uh, control, Auto like autonomy, autonomy uh, command of like your reality. Mm -hmm. So if you're feeling it, you can heal it. It's not yeah. like it's theirs to heal. It's not mine. Like that's like passing the blame and that's actually affirming separation, mm -hmm. um, to say like, I feel what they're feeling and they're not healing it, so what do I do? Like, you, you can do the mirror exercise, you, you heal it. Heal it. Yeah. Um, because you're what? Mm -hmm. um, but I would say, like, it's not, like, a constant awareness of, like, what you're feeling. It's just, right. like, sometimes I've noticed, like, we'll be going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, oh, but I... it's different. Like, it's right, not yeah. the exact same thing. Like, it's not like we're having the exact same thoughts and the exact same healing. Right. Like, sometimes we'll both be going through, like, physical pain like sometimes we'll get the same like physical pains I've noticed and we'll be like oh I was just healing xyz or yeah. I was just healing um depression or whatever we'll move through the same things but mm -hmm. um because we're one but it's not but I have my own experience of it it brings up different things for me mm -hmm. amen mm -hmm. nice okay so how did you know and question number three how did you know you were ready for union I guess it was just a feeling and also like this idea of like um like love doesn't hesitate mm -hmm. for me it was just kind of like it was very like natural it was just like okay why not like right um and of course it was like once like we uh knew that we were twin flames it was like okay well let's go like, yeah um and that's just how like I felt about approaching it um and I guess in some ways, like, I feel like maybe, like, there was, like, more for us to, like, learn. But, we, like, we probably wouldn't have learned that if we hadn't, like, come together. Right. And, like, um, so it's, like, it's just, like, the call of love. It was, like, when it felt good and mm -hmm. I went, you know, we went for it. Mm, perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, question number four. Did you ever run or chase? And what was that experience like for you? I did with my false twin flame, I feel like. Uh, maybe a little bit with you, but, like, not really because like runner chaser of course is not um the back i hope that didn't cut off sorry we had a little no no it's it's still still going see cool yeah sorry uh, that pop-up came up on yeah there's phone. like a low battery pop-up that comes up <laughs> um i can plug this in while you're talking yeah so um i feel like i didn't really do this with you so much yeah um, but with my false twin flame i felt like i was doing that of like trying to like get something from them um yeah. you know like Sorry, guys. texting like hoping to get a response and stuff like that and of course like runner chaser doesn't actually exist it's just right. like you running from yourself and with your false twin flame like they're gonna mirror some of that stuff too but not right like your twin flame will right um 
but it was really just me running from myself, trying to get love outside of myself, trying to make um, that person my source. And of course, that's right. going to make anybody like run because like it's very, um, because you're not like going within, you're not connecting with God. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it wasn't a great experience because you're always like thinking that the love is outside of you. You're always like, oh, I have to wait for my love. And then, like it feels really bad because you, you become kind of like codependent, needy. Yeah. Um, whereas like if you're doing your mirror exercises, like you're doing that love, you know, experiencing self -love. that self love, then you don't feel that as much. Like, of course you want to be with your person. That's a natural desire. That's not innately like codependent. No, That's no, like no, no, a no. natural, healthy desire to want to be with the person that God created for you. Like, yeah, duh. normal. But like, it becomes a problem when you think you need them for mm -hmm. love. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a couple more questions. How can your def divine feminine best love you right now? Uh, love yourself. Mm. Like, and I know that sounds like, oh, just love yourself. But like, that's cheesy. That's really <laughs> it. Like, that it is. That is it. It's the because, whole thing. Um, like with a soulmate relationship, there's a lot of compromise. There's a lot of like making each other your source. There's like it's an old like way deals, deals like negotiations, negotiations. And like there is like a like a negotiation type like phase of like your uh, harmonies or like your union, your harmonies union you know, of like figuring out like how you work together like oh yeah but that's not so much negotiation as it is right. communicating uh like shalia describes it as like a negotiation like upset phase and uh, oh yeah and romance attraction but um twinflamesuniverse.com yes um but like to, uh it's really just loving yourself healing through your upsets like don't look at your divine masculine and say like i need him to change i need him to leave her i need him to do all these things right. because you're putting him outside of you you're making him separate from you just with that like affirmation of i need him to do something in order to have my good mm -hmm. that is like you're putting your happiness you're putting your stuff like you're putting you're good dependent on him you're making him your source and that's not it like mm. you have to go within you have to love yourself you have to connect with god and that's how you're going to manifest your union that's how you're going to see change from your twin flame not by expecting anything from him but by like changing within yourself mm, amen well said mm -hmm. okay did you ever have dreams of your divine feminine and how would you connect with your divine feminine while in separation I had dream like I've never had a lot of dreams of like my twin flame. Even my false twin flame, I never had like a lot of like dreams of like you or like my false twin. Like like it was very like few and far between. You have a lot more dreams now, actually. I have a lot more dreams in now. Separation. Yeah, yeah. Like in in like separation, I had like very few like dreams of like my twin flame person. Mm -hmm. Um. Like, there were dreams that I thought were, like, maybe, like, there was the same energy, but oftentimes they were just, like, whatever, dreams about whatever I was going through, and even, like, mm -hmm. some, like, weird dreams, like, that didn't really make sense at the time. Um, but, yeah, like, with connecting with um, my Divine Feminine, I guess I was just, like, just connecting with myself, connecting with my heart, mm -hmm. um, and, you know, just... Yeah, I think I just mainly that way, just connecting within mm. myself. Nice. It wasn't, um, it, for me, it wasn't really like a, I'm going to go, like, meditate on her. Or, <laughs> yeah. Or, like, I'm going to, like, do some kind of weird chanting or find a portal. It wasn't anything, like, grand like that. It was just, like, loving myself with the mirror exercise. Mm, perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, two more questions. Mm. What is your favorite thing to do with your Divine Feminine? I think it's fun, like, just when we, like, connect and we, like, do inner work together, just have, like, really nice conversations. Mm. Um, before we knew we were Twin Flames, like, one of the greatest things, we went to um, Toronto for the first uh, Twin Flames Universe live, like, workshop. Yeah. And, like, after the first day, I think it was the first day, um, like, we were in our Airbnb just, like, chatting about what we heard and just mm. kind of laying out, just, like, processing and I remember that being the most like peaceful time mm. is we were just kind of sitting on the couch. You were pulling cards. It was mm -hmm. like, um, like storming outside. And we were just mm -hmm. like, and it was, I do remember this really well. Actually. And the Airbnb just had like, like, um, like basically a balcony and like clear, you know, like a clear, like windows and doors and stuff. 
like glass windows and doors, I guess. And um, like you could just see, you know, the storm and everything. And it was just like a beautiful moment of like very peaceful. I just mm -hmm. remember that very vivid vividly. And like whenever we do like inner work or stuff like that together, it's like usually pretty peaceful. Like it can get contentious if we're moving through something pretty heavy, but mm -hmm. um, it's like a nice peaceful time to like process healing. Mm, that's nice. Mm -hmm. All right, final question from the Divine Feminine Collective to the Divine Masculine is, do you, have a, do you have a final message for the Divine Feminines who are still in separation from their DM? What do you want to say to all the Divine Feminines out there? Don't give up. Um, I think it's very tempting, to, especially if you're new on the journey um, and you're like maybe doing the mirror exercise for the first time. I've seen a lot of people like, they'll be like, well, I did the mirror exercise and it's not working. And you've done it like maybe twice. Yeah, and I and I'm just like don't give up that easily because yeah. like this is like uh the an relation eternal journey. an eternal journey and it's like your relationship that's going to last for literally eternity. Mm -hmm. Like don't give up after doing the mirror exercise for two weeks and not give it or two times or whatever and like oh I didn't see any results I'm done. <laughs> okay, well this is for eternity that you're right. doing. Like you and your twin flame may have been apart for several hundred years right, or right, thousand right. years or whatever like it, we were apart for 1200 years i asked god when we first came together how long it had been since i last saw you and god said 1200 years yeah so it's like <laughs> i was like damn that's crazy so like <laughs> like you're never like actually separate like no no you're no. never actually separate but you can experience sep experience separation right because the illusion of separation the illusion of separation and like it may, you may have a lot of blocks to love. You may have a lot of blocks to being with your twin flame. There may be a lot of things you have to learn before you can sustain a physical union because you have to be pretty mastered in mirror, like doing your mirror exercises to maintain a peaceful union yeah. with your twin flame and to come oh, into yeah. harmonious union because you're going to be triggering each other all the time. And if it's you a follow lifestyle change, right. And if you fall apart and can't do the mirror exercise after anything, or you want to continue blaming them and trying to control and trying to control, or you want to like do the mirror exercise until you get a text and stop doing it then you're going to keep falling into like this pattern of like separation. Yeah, you, you are. You have in to, the long term because you're not making a core change with Right. You have to continue. It's like before enlightenment chop wood carry water, after enlightenment chop wood carry water. Like you have to continue and even go deeper into the work doing the mirror exercise yeah. when you're in your union. It's so, a full full commitment. It took like, us like emotional. A, it took us commitment. like a year and a half to like even be revealed as twin flames and oh, be yeah. able to come together. So like don't give up just mm -hmm. because like you did it, you know, every day for 2 weeks. We have done it every day for 3 years and we still have to keep doing oh, the mirror yeah. exercise. It's still such so, a process. Don't but it's give the up. Best. It's worth it's it. It's the best. It's, it's there's no other way that I want to live or that you want to live like, right. besides like the spiritual path. It is a lifestyle change. And if you're mm -hmm. not ready to have, you know, to it's do an eternal lifestyle change, <laughs> right? Like, it's not just this lifetime, right? Because it's, it's like forever because it's... you're changing forever, right? Like, it's ultimately it's for your ascension. It's ultimately claiming mm -hmm. your divinity and your divine self. And if you're not ready for that, you're just wanting a boyfriend or a girlfriend, or I guess in this case, you're just wanting a boyfriend. Right. Um, like, it's not going to be for you. Right. Like, at this time. Like, but... Like, do you just want, like, a temporary satisfaction? Or do you want heaven? Do you right. want God? Do you want the deeper thing? The deeper love? Do you want love? the real thing? Do you want the real or thing? Or do you just want a temporary, like thing right and that's up to for you to decide but i would encourage you not to give up i would encourage mm -hmm. you to go that extra mile for the for the real thing yeah because you're gonna have to do it eventually like whether right. it be in this lifetime or the next lifetime and i would i recommend not like putting it off because mm -hmm. like you start from where you like leave off mm -hmm. spiritually and so where you are now you're going to be in the next lifetime like mm -hmm. you're like you may not remember it but like you're that's how you're going to experience it like you're mm -hmm. going to experience it in a different way in this in, in the next life yeah so it's like just why not take care of that now and have it for eternity yeah amen. you know like perfect um don't give up 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Don't give up. It's such a small amount of your eternal life for yeah. like two years. Like, what is that? And it may not take you that long. Mm -hmm. It may take you like four months to manifest your union. And then you just continue in the work and you go deeper and come into harmonious union and you mm -hmm. keep going. Yeah. Like, don't just look at it like, I, I know I keep saying this, but just like, don't give up. Like, don't mm -hmm. give up after like two weeks, two months and say like, it's never going to happen. It will happen, but you have to keep loving yourself. You are worth the investment in yourself. Mm -hmm. Even if it's, even if this person turns out to be like a false twin flame, right? Like you are worth your investment still in yourself. Healing. Like that love still returns to you. Right. Because the mirror exercise, the inner work that you're doing is for you, not for them. Yeah, exactly. And it's, you're worth loving. You're worth having healing. healing you're worth having a romance with yourself a romance with god you or whatever you want to call it spirit universe love um you're worth it mm -hmm. and yeah. like giving up is saying i'm not worth it i'm not worth loving and that's just not true that's just not true yeah perfect all right thank you divine masculine Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching feel free to like and subscribe and comment below if you found this helpful you can check us out at sacredtwinflameunion.com and we will see you in the next video bye guys bye.